Hey, what is up, guys? It is I, Pizza Geekish. Today I am back with another Kerbal Space Program. Again, today we're gonna learn how to build a space plane. Now, to be honest with you, it's not a, a literal space plane. It's just a jet, a mini jet, a mini jumbo jet. And this one's quite typical. I'm not sure, um, but it's the simplest that I made up. I just found this out by just placing random parts in the hangar and I eventually got something that I did not expect and um, it actually turned out well and uh, I would consider this um, to be not a VTOL but it takes off like a VTOL it takes almost no runway space at all to lift this thing off the ground and so it requires a Mach 2 cockpit though a Mark 2 cockpit okay, not the Mark 1 the Mark 2 um, it's more convenient since uh the Mark II cockpit has like a front adapter in front of its cockpit, and so okay, that's why it's uh, it's very feasible. And so first we want to go to our aerodynamics and um, find our air intakes. And uh, we want to take either the ram air intake or the circular air intake. My recommendation is to use the circular air intake since it's you can notice it's not lighter or anything, but um, <laughs> um, it you know. The the ram air intake um can run its engines way 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 higher than the um circular air intake. It's not you can it is not like it it twice the altitude I guess it can you can get this thing up to like seventy thousand something with the ram air intake. For this circular intake I guess you can just take it to like sixty sixty something. I assume it is, because I remember once it was like 60,000. And so we're going to put it to the test later on, one way to find out. And the second thing is, now we need our engine. Our first engine with priority, obviously, we already know. The Mark 1 fuselage jet fuel. Or that's all. And now what we need is some wings. Del Delta wing is what I'm looking for here. Delta wing is the most reliable wing ever. And I'll tell you why. Alright, so... Not only is it very light, but it also has a very high lift rating. And so you can just stick two in and it looks good. It looks perfectly, it looks perfectly good. And then um, you will have to add uh, two more standard control surfaces. And you might want to adjust the, um, the sides of this, like to turn it a little horizontal. Make sure it's, <laughs> it's not being, you know, wonky. And now, now this thing is turned to an infinite glider. Now you can glide without having to like run your engine in like low to medium, maybe even high altitudes, and that'd be perfect. You know, that'd be just perfect. And now what we need is an engine. Um, my recommendation is you either use the basic jet engine or the turbo jet. I wouldn't recommend the turbo jet since it just sucks up all your fuel and you're not having to ramp air intake or anything. And so the basic jet engine does it fine. Again, trust me, the basic jet engine is a overkill of this jet. It looks like kind of like um uh I don't know like a freaking space shuttle, mini space shuttle. And then from the back, it kind of looks like an F-16. If you focus on it real quick, you, it would look like an F-16. I'll show you guys how it looks like during flight. And uh, next thing we're missing, we're missing um landing gears. Yes. For landing gears, we will have two landing gears in the wing on the wings. You can adjust it, like adjust its wonky positions, like make it stand out like vertically, the wheels facing down vertically. And now we only need one wheel in the front in the gear bay, one small gear bay in the front, and you should be done. And boom, like here's completed jet. And uh, there are specific ways to lift this thing off and how to land it. And landing part is a little bit tricky. Okay, and I'll show you guys why is it tricky. So first, let's call this the... I got a good name for this. The Tiny Tumbler. And I'll, I'll show you why I call it the Tiny Tumbler. Mach 1. You know, Mach 2. Mach 1. And uh, save this thing, and we will be launching. Okay, all right. So, I like I said in the beginning of the... Yeah, I'll show you just that. that. Just watch. Just watch carefully. Carefully watch. Okay, so, okay. Ready? Again, throttle. All right, just wait. There we go. There we go. See, look, it took almost no runway space at all. Okay, now you might be wondering, well, Connor, how do we fly this thing? Or how do you land it? Flying, no problem. This thing is very maneuverable. You can believe it or not, you can do a freaking S loop with this thing. I I I'm not even joking. So first, let's get into a high altitude to do this S loop. 
You can if you're about if you're like, oh my god, this thing's gonna crash. And no, don't worry, don't fear. Uh, at this point, I don't think they, this thing can do an S loop. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Slow down. Make it slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Hold on. Uh, that's a feasible S loop. Yeah, that's a feasible S loop. See, it, it does it. It does it. It does it fine. And um, and you might be asking, what's that pink dot over there? Why do I have a pink dot? Is actually the tiny tumbler. Another tiny tumbler. Um, I kind of that was the first one that I flew before I made this video. I was trying to figure out a way to like make some sort of easy jets okay, without having to like have anything collide or killing my carbonauts. Okay, and I kind of stumbled upon the uh, the uh, tiny tumbler, and then I was like, "Wow, this thing flies well!" So you know, I flew in the first part in the um, before I even made the video, like about a few think about, uh, about a few days ago, if I would say so. And uh, this plane is very maneuverable. When you're about to land, no problem. This thing, you can use the a there You can use the rudder, man. You look at this. There's no rudder, but you can use it anyways. Look, freaking rudder OP, man. Look at that. Horizontal flight. It looks like you're cross-winding, except you're just using your rudder, and you're not cross-winding. It, it kind of looks like that you're cross-winding. But in fact, you're not. Look at this jet. It's quite special, I'll be honest with you. I guess some people already came up with this idea, but uh, this is just the basic concept of how to make a space plane. And um, it's quite simple. It's feasible. It has a lot of fuel. It doesn't run out fast. Okay, anyways. Okay, now the landing part. Now this landing part might be a little bit tricky, but first let's lower down the gay beer. Landing gay, um, gay be gear bay. I call it gay beer. I don't know why. <laughs> You can um, throttle down your rocket, I mean space plane, to about 33%, okay? okay? When you're eight when you're eight kilometers away from the, your runway, kill it. Kill the throttle. Because this thing does not require any engine source to, like, operate now. And I'll show you why. It kind of lifts, see? Not because it's, you know, it, it does kind of lift. Um, I guess it's an infinite glider. Yeah, it's an infinite glider. You can actually gain some lift with this. With this thing. Yes, you'll see. Okay. okay. Until you go too slow, then you'll have to throttle up. But in this case, four kilometers, I don't think you'll have to worry at all. Okay, so... Keep... Just keep flying. Just keep flying. La, 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 la. This thing ain't dropping at all. Alright, just keep flying. Alright. Alright, now when you're reaching of 2.9 kilometers, you might want to nose down a little. And this is where the landing parts get tricky. You have to be horizontally exactly. Otherwise, your plane is going to tumble and tip over and you're going to die. Okay, so basically, you can't tumble, otherwise you're pretty much dead. And uh, yeah, that's how, it's, that's, how basic, that's how it works, basically. Alright, so ba pretty much we're going to... all right. We're gonna align ourselves. Holy crap, I forgot to remove the tiny tumbler away from the runway before I created this video. You wanna get yourself directly ahead of the runway. Okay, so first, you have no rush. So just slowly, but surely, press B as you land. As you land, just press B, and you won't be able to tumble. Oh, maybe you are, maybe you are. Oh, no, no, don't tumble, you son of a bitch. There we go, there we go. See? Nothing wrong. Whew, that was a good one, wasn't it? Oh, and uh, we have another tiny tumbler right there. Hi there, tiny tumbler number two who lost its air intake for some reason. It, got, it probably got lo it got lost when um this thing, um for some reason, it just got lost during landing. I was perfectly on it. I didn't really tip over anything, um, but it just somehow disappeared. After landing, maybe I bumped it. I bumped it on the ground too hard. Anyways, that was actually quite perfect. It was a quite decent landing. Uh, I almost tipped over, but good thing that the uh, the side landing bays kind of saved me there. And uh, yeah, this has been piece of geekish. Um, it, it landing may be a little tricky. Maybe I'll make a video on how to land space planes, specifically this one. I'll go over multiple kind of space planes. And uh, yeah, um, this has been piece of geekish. Comment on what you think of this video. Uh, like this video, um, 
uh, if you have any trouble, feel free to comment and uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll reply to your question. You want to make a remake, I'll reply to your questions. Again, depending on the demand, of course. And uh, this has been PC Geekish, uh, signing off. Oh boy, this thing is a beaut. Magical machine. At its finest.